Hey guys, welcome back to another special video, and today we are back in Bloodborne. Now, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than normal today. Um, I'm going to be doing some Mikalash cheese. I honestly don't care if I'm saying his name right, he's the most annoying boss in the game. Uh, now what you're going to want for this, is you're going to want beast blood pellets, bolt paper, bone marrow ash, decent gun, and soft spear, and the Simon's bow blade. And if I had to suggest any runes, I would definitely have to say anti-clockwise metamorphosis, more quicksilvers, more vials. I can't remember the name. Of it, more quicksilvers, but I know more vials is communion, uh, and definitely hunters. Not not hunters, but hunter. You know, I'll just show them to you since I'm right here in the hunter stream. Anti-clockwise metamorphosis. Formless Oat, uh, whatever, however you say that, I'm sorry. Um, communion and Hunter. Now, uh, for specifics, oh, well, hold up. I need to store some weapons. I have too much in my inventory right now. I don't even use half of these, over half of these. Um,. I'm going to upgrade my bow blade definitely because I actually use it a lot more. Just I don't really do it too much on camera. Um, so um, yeah, that's really all you're gonna need for right now. Um, and because I have a little bit of time, I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna show you from the Nightmare Mrs. how to speed run to. Murgo's Law Face, then to Mikalash. I'm probably gonna die a couple times. I'm gonna be honest. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, sorry about the sounds in the loading screen. Sorry, it's been a while since so I posted video too. Uploaded, posted, same thing, whatever. Um, I just realized I need my sedatives. Alright. I'm just gonna warn you, you can kill any of these guys that you want to. But I'm just gonna run past them. So, let's do this. This is normally what I do. I would suggest putting frenzy resistance armor on, but I don't care too often much because I've done this too much that I can just run past. Pop a blood bile or two along the way. Oh my goodness. I'm the one supposed to be cheesing here, not getting cheese, people. Sorry about that. Um, so once you come up here, you can just run past these guys. Open this door. Run straight in. Now, these are up here, so if I were you, I would do this. Take the right path, make a left, jump down here. Keep running. Don't even look back. Alright, and by this point, spiders are chasing. That's different. Normally, spiders chase you. You can take this guy out if you really want to, but I'm just going to do this for speed's sake. Um... Now we're right about here, you're gonna wanna take a right. This elevator, you won't have to pull any switches or anything, just get in, operate device. Yeah, you better back up. Uh yeah, this you wouldn't you could just jump straight in. I forgot to put the elevator up for this. And just walk over here and boom. Hunter's dream. And lamp. Goes off face. I will also be showing you how to get this elevator because you do not start with this elevator. Also, I hate this thing up here, but I like it at the same time because it kills enemies over there, but it also kills me. So, um, from Mergo's Law Face, I'm now going to show you how to get to the glass and that elevator that I just showed you there. Uh, I like to send elevators down too, it's just what I do. 
Now, uh, this part is going to get a little bit risky, because these guys are a little bit difficult to run past. Not these guys. There's a couple dudes down here. I was going to just my mic a little bit. This person here. Meh. Difficulty. And this person here. Supreme. Nah, I'm just kidding. He's actually pretty easy to run past it. Uh, this elevator will also be out. I like to put the elevators down. And, uh... Yeah, this is uh, the nearest point at which you get to uh, McLash. His boss room is right through that door. But if you want that elevator, it's right here. I really need to start sending elevators up, huh? And here's the elevator. Go straight down where it goes to the base. I'm not gonna go all the way down, but that's it. Now I'm gonna show you what I normally do to cheese the McLeod's here. Um First up, you're gonna want to take the soft beer. When you get into the boss room, you're gonna want to follow my moves like, almost exactly, okay? Uh, you can, you're gonna want to be using the Saw Spears transform attacks when he gets in that little room about right there. In fact, you can see it from here, right there. Um, now when you get in there, you're gonna want to activate the Beast Blood Pellet and the Bolt Taper. Uh, I'm just telling you what to do now, and then I'll give you an actual demonstration once we get in there. Uh, I've already initiated the boss fight and found out a couple more cheese is to do this with, and I decided to stop and put a YouTube video on my Mickey. So uh, let's just let's just uh, go around. I'll show you from here. Okay. So in other words, really we're gonna want to just run straight through right here. The best way to get him go straight to the room, no hesitations. Kind of run to the left here. He'll go straight in the room. Now, right about here, you're going to want to activate the bolt, paper, and the beast blood pellets. Um, try and keep your distance at first and kill the puppets. Um, but once you're done killing the puppets, go on ahead up to Miklash. He shouldn't engage you. Uh, whenever you see him start to do that attack, dodge around him, and begin... Ouch. Uh, never dodge backwards or forwards. Always dodge to the right when he does that attack. And whenever he's in a corner like this, it's perfect. As long as you have stamina and he's still in a corner, it should give him down to half health easy. For you, those of you who do not know, um, when Mikolash gets half health in this room, he'll teleport to the next area. No, not really like him. That'd be bad right now. It'd be very bad. I'd probably just restart the video. Um, there we go. Just keep cheesing in, this, in the corner. This is also why the hunter. That room was uh, important. Alright, there you go. From here on in, you're gonna want Simon's boat with. But don't oh, transform it just yet. Just... Um, I'm gonna let you go through the dialogue yourself. I don't want to spoil too much in dialogue. That's why I didn't do it the first time. So, uh, put in spoil the cutscene. Alright, um, these guys are kind of difficult to get past if you don't already know their attacks. One has a rapid poison crossbow and the other has a mace thing. Alright, this is very important to follow exactly. You're going to want to run straight up to Mikolash. Get me going here. Alright. Stick to the right wall as hard as you can. Perfect. Goes through here. Right. Okay. Next, what you're going to want to do Run back through here. I believe it's take a right. You'll find him 
in here. Now you're gonna want to pull out your bone marrow axe, right? Now begins the cheese. It's really simple as long as you can stick, I think it was right, and make him go into the mirror. Whenever you run out of bone marrow ash, this gets a little longer if your Simon Bowblade is not maxed out. I know mine's not, um. But as long as you can just keep chasing him, do not jump down. That is the last thing you want to do. Alright, I've tried and tried and tried, but you cannot R2 uh, shoot him from here. Just, yeah, just R1. It's really simple and really easy to do. Uh, it might take a couple tries. If you mess it up, I suggest just bolt hunter marking out of there if you do not want to fight this dude. He's really annoying one on one. Mostly because it's not going to be one on one most of the time. He's always going to summon in his puppets. Um, I don't know what skill does more damage. Okay, yeah, definitely not science well played. Um, so, yeah, let's just keep chasing him. This is probably the easiest way to defeat Nicolash. There's easier ways that require a lot more patience and a lot more time, but I like faster, and if you do not like faster, I, I'm sorry, I'll, I'm just gonna, if you do not like this run, there are others out there. Um, I'm not gonna tell you this is the best run, because I'm not gonna determine who has the best run and who doesn't. That's just not what I do. That's not my job, so I'm not gonna do it. Uh, to be honest, my personal favorite one is this one, because it's hilarious just to peg him in the head with an arrow, watch him disappear, peg him again in the head with an arrow. It's it's just kind of... gets a little boring after a while, especially if your bowblade isn't leveled up. Sometimes it might be a little more worth it to use something like the piercing rifle. Um, but, to be honest, I just prefer Bowblade. It's really easy, really quick. There you go. That's how you cheese Nicolash. And that's how it's done. I'm not going to watch this ending cutscene because I don't want to spoil anything. So I'm just going to spam this skip button. Alright. And if you really want to run through the entire building again, you can jump down, but I'm just going to do this to get to the next lamp. Because uh, once you've defeated Mikalash, this bridge right here should come up. And uh, if you haven't watched it, if you haven't watched my updated farming run video, this also is the best farming run in the game right here. Well, anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.